Yes. Last, last email here. Tim from Parts Unknown. My boss got COVID from a Papa Roach concert recently. Wow. Present company, <laughs> exclu- present company excluded. What's the dumbest thing any of your bosses ever did? Tim. Oh, That's shit. a really good, like, summary to an episode of a show. Like, Tim's boss gets COVID from the Papa Roach concert. Uh, the dumbest thing. I worked at a I worked at a Pizza Hut, mm-hmm. and the assistant manager was uh, smoking weed with a couple of the employees in the shared office space. Mm-hmm. Okay, and he like uh, the manager came in and could obviously smell it, and uh, promptly fired him. I was not invited to participate with the weed smoking jerks because mm. I was new. Oh, yeah, yeah, jerks. But as it turned out, I also didn't get fired. So, mm. hey, there we go. I can't. Uh. But yeah, that's that's pretty fucking dumb. Just go out back. Yeah, seriously. fucking a. No, I can't think of anything that happened at any of my jobs except, and this wasn't a bad thing really, but it was that cinema again. Where our manager, who was just like a guy I was, was in school with, he was, you know, just the, the guy. He would, we would watch the movies the night before they came out and just smoke weed and drink. And everyone was there. And yeah. like, it's like, it was, it's like mega illegal in Ireland. <laughs> so like, so like you usually don't tend to have like people smoking weed in the fucking cinema. Right. Um, but we did it one night uh, with Cloverfield and like most people mm. got like sick or had to leave or like had to stop watching it because, <laughs> you know, it was like found footage shit. And then like you were, you know, a bit yep. twisted. So that wasn't great. We had the same thing with, uh, with Blair Witch. Yeah. We had people actually fucking oh, throwing shit. up. Oh, God. That's ridiculous. <laughs> God, we fucking decorated that theater with all the, the fucking no, stick figures cool. and Twig shit. People. Oh, man. We that's had such awesome. a good time with that. That's cool. Oh. Uh. That was rad. Do they at least barf into like popcorn buckets and stuff, or just? No, oh, I remember that. Whole nope. liquid. No, they go up. They go up front, which thankfully is actually yeah, the, you... the right choice because yeah. everything sloped yeah. forward. Right? Mm. If they went to the back, uh, they would have fucking run uh, down everybody's feet. Oh shit! Uh, yeah, Backlar, yep. you got a bad boss story <sighs> or a dumb boss story? I mean, I was a bad boss when I worked at the. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know. I, I nothing was really coming to mind, which I guess is a good thing, right? Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I when I was in my mid to late teens, I worked for a startup uh, website. So this is like late nineties, and they were backed. I don't know how they were getting their backing, but they thought the best way to get the word out about the website was to buy front row seats at raw and hold up a sign. Oh my <laughs> God. So I was super into wrestling back then. The Dan Riker but, model. Yeah. And that's right. how I met Dan Riker. No, uh, <laughs> I was super into wrestling back then. And like the second they were like, we're doing this. I'm like, okay, here's how we're going to do it. Uh, oh, I mean, yeah. there's like three people who work for the company and, uh, we did it. Um, I, I sm- was yeah. it broadcast. Yeah, it was broadcast. And then, so here's the wildest thing. So I didn't buy the tickets, but I just like explained to them where we should sit and they had to get it obviously from like an aftermarket, you know, reseller and they fucked up and they oh, yeah. bought the seats on the wrong side on the opposite fucking side yeah. so i shit <laughs> you not this is like this was the meadowlands so this is probably i want to say it's probably like 99 like height of attitude era like so what happened was the wildest shit so we're sitting in these seats we're holding up our signs and i'm talking what's to my say what's the company can you say man I'd rather not at this point but it, it doesn't exist anymore but like i don't know i just haven't like fully vetted the whole thing in my head and it's just like maybe it's best to not say it um dildo warehouse.com all right you've heard of us anyway so um yeah i'm on the phone with my brother and i'm like can you see us he's like no i can't see you i can't see you so so he's like but someone in the front row 
has a sign with a phone number that says, call me. So during the fucking show, we call the guy across the way and say, hey, we will give you $200 if you hold up our signs. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> and during a commercial break, we gave him the, the things and, and he's holding them up. It was so dumb. That's this incredible. doesn't seem dumb. It's fantastic. This, seems, this seems like a it, fantastic ploy. It's dumb in retrospect because like that's... But sure. it, yes, it was fun. It was first and foremost, it was super, super fun. I definitely have the VHS of the show somewhere. Um, <laughs> might be yeah. up on the network. I'm not joking. This might have been the night that HBK came back. Do you remember? We're like, we're like, oh, uh, it was time, something yeah. with like Vince in a limo. And I don't, it's again, this is going back like literally 22 years. But um, anyway, uh, yeah, that's it's fucking nuts. What a crazy, that's like something out of like a telltale game, like the solution to the yeah, problem is the something branch. so <laughs> also crazy. The, the fact that that that's opportunity wild. presented itself was so yeah. Uh, bewildering. Yeah. So, so was he just like people were calling oh, him and he great. was like, yeah. I know, isn't it awesome yeah. I'm here? Is that like, <laughs> he, said like he, that's he said like a dozen people called him, yeah. And then so he cool. was really surprised to hear my boss at the time calling him, being like, yo, dude, we're here. We need you to hold a sign up for us. And that's we're, so we're, that's yeah. not. I was like, I'm, I must Fantastic. have been like 17, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, wow. <sighs> well, um, that the story I had was mo more so about it, my last boss being very inconsiderate on a work trip and busting out his blender to have his, you know, his, his protein smoothies in our shared hotel room. Uh, and that was great. Oh, no. And then him singing at the top of his lungs at 4.30 a.m. Because he just gets up that early um, and, you know, it doesn't help that he's a very positive and mo he's, he moonlighted as a motivational speaker. But he's, he's a very nice gentleman. He's very nice. Just I would not room with him again. Wow. Oh, no. Uh, and, and folks, yeah. I think that is it for today's giant bomb cast. 